Hey guys, so I was editing my skincare video and I realized I didn't really film a proper intro and there were a couple things that I wanted to cover now that will not be covered in the video just because it is a voiceover. So the first thing being consistency, I found that by me sticking to my morning and night routines, my skin is doing worlds better and anytime I deviate from either of those routines, my skin definitely shows me that, you know, girl, you need to get back on track. And another thing that I found is by not eating a lot of dairy, that has also helped my skin do better. I don't really drink cow's milk unless I'm going to get like ice cream or frozen yogurt, which is very rare. And I don't really eat a lot of cheese. Well, I kind of do eat a lot of cheese, maybe like once a week. And I, I try not to, but I just really love cheese. And another thing is drinking a lot of water. I know you hear that a lot, but I have found that to be very true. I don't really drink a lot of soda. I don't really drink a lot of juice. If you go look at my fridge now, it's almond milk, water, and boathouse smoothies. That's about it. And that has really helped my skin, like just taking in all that water and not drinking a lot of sugary drinks. But when I went home for Christmas and New Year's, I kind of took the vacation thing a little too far, and I did kind of stray away from just drinking water. I was drinking more sodas and juices than I normally would. And so for that, I now have this little mark here. It was a very big pimple, and that really never happens. But when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. No, but seriously, um, anytime I kind of deviate away from my consistent routine i drink or eat things i'm not supposed to it definitely shows up in my skin so i would suggest you guys kind of take heed to all of those things and kind of try to cut back on some of your sodas and some of your juices and i think that alone will change your skincare routine so again this is my skincare routine this is what works for me I hope you find a product that works for you, but I will say this is what works for me. As you can see, my skin is pretty clear. I do have pretty normal skin. My skin is pretty sensitive though. I cannot use harsh products. I cannot use fragrant products. I have to really be careful in the products that I choose. And the products that, I, that you'll see in the video are very, very mild. And I've been using them for years. One of my face washes I've been using since middle school. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys find something that works for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, so here I am just wetting my face a little bit before I put on my face wash. And the face wash that you'll be seeing me use is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser, I believe that's the whole name. I'll have the exact name down in the description the description bar um i've been using this since i was a child it's very mild it's unscented and it's just a very light cleanser for that i think is perfect for the morning time just kind of wash off your sleep i guess and i let that sit while i brush my teeth and i don't really know how long i let it sit because my toothbrush is time and i think it's time for about two or three minutes so yeah i just let that sit on my face do its thing while i brush my teeth and i'm probably also on my phone you know as millennials can i just step away from our phones for a moment so that's that and then i just rinse it off and i leave my face wet i don't dry my face off and the next thing you'll see me do is spray on my apple cider vinegar mixture and I use this every day. I actually use it every day, every night. I use it twice a day, every night and in the morning. And it's just a mixture of apple cider vinegar with the mother. Make sure that it does have the mother in it. I don't know what that means, but just it needs to have it. And that's why you see me shaking it up because it does kind of settle at the bottom. And it's just uh, equal parts water and apple cider vinegar. So pretty easy, pretty simple. And I let the apple cider vinegar dry. I don't... Um, mess with it i let it dry i either like get on my phone or I, if i'm going to work i'll go get dressed just to let it air dry in the meantime hello uh Leah? oh you have the wrong number oh i'm sorry no problem okay here i'm patting the apple cider vinegar off i kind of got tired of waiting for it to dry so I just take a paper towel and lightly pat. I do not rub or be or rough with that. All right, so after I've washed my face, toned it, the apple cider vinegar kind of acts as a toner. So that's what I was doing with that. And then here you see me applying hydrocortisone. I do have like this 
dark mark um under my lip that if i don't keep it moisturized it will come so the hydrocortisone definitely helps with that you can be it can be any kind it doesn't have to be like a specific brand or anything because mine is from my job's drugstore but before that i was using the avino one and here you see me using cetaphil's daily moisturizer i think that's what it's called and i use just a very small amount like a pea size amount because i do use two other uh what do you call them they're not lotions moisturizing agents and the other one that i use is aquaphor which you see me using here also another little pea size amount i use both of these because i like to be very very moisturized my skin isn't dry but it still needs moisture and then i'm used adding two drops of vitamin e oil which helps in kind of keeping your skin even and also fading dark marks and i forgot to mention but apple cider vinegar does the same thing it kind of keeps your skin even and it definitely helps fade dark marks on the left side of my face i used to have on the in my chin area i used to have a lot of dark spots and as you can see those are gone and that comes from my skincare routine so now you're gonna see me kind of do my little natural remedy for spot treatments i'm applying a little bit of coconut oil as kind of like a base for the next oil that I'm gonna add. So I add that to the little pimple, little bump, or whatever it is. And then I'm going to take 100% organic tea tree oil and add that on top of the coconut oil. And I say I use it as a base because tea tree oil is so strong, like it can like kind of burn you. So mixing the two together kind of prevents me from being burned, I guess you could say. So yeah, just taking that tea tree oil, applying it on top of the coconut oil rubbing it in being very gentle as you can see from my skincare routine i use my hands i don't use a washcloth i just feel like washcloths are too rough and my hands are just easier and then i just like to moisturize my lips and then go on about my day that's about it so that's it for my skincare routine pretty simple pretty straight to the point it's not long and drawn out it doesn't take a lot of products for you guys to have gorgeous skin. It just takes a little consistency and sticking to what works for you. So that about wraps up my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video.